Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today I will make a mobile robot. It is simple and straightforward. All I need to build this robot are MDDS10, City Uno, pair of DC Kia Moto, PS2 Shield, wireless PS2 controller and pair of wheels. Okay, now I will demonstrate to you step by step to build this robot. I have set up this robot base with the motors and MDDS10. You can use your own creativity to build this robot. I will use the PWM input mode with microcontroller independent both with sign magnitude mode. So I will set up this DIP switch to 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 Up is 1 and down is 0. Okay, now we can connect all the motor wires to the MDDS10 board. This is for motor right A and B channel port. And this is for motor left A and B channel port. Between the right and left motor port, there is a power source port for positive and negative. Do check the polarity first before you connect the wire. On this MDDS10 board, it consists of 6 pin, which is digital 1 and digital 2 pin, analog 1 and analog 2 pin, and power source pin of 5 volt and ground. The digital pin is used to control the direction of the motor and the analog pin is used to control the PWM for the motor. Now, we are going to connect all the jumper wires to the 6 pin. Starting from digital pin 1, digital pin 2, Analog pin 1, analog pin 2, 5 volt, and ground. Okay, now I will show you how to set up the PS2 shield. PS2 shield use UART communication. So, it has a receiver RX, transmitter TX, and bulk rate. For this robot, I set D2 for RX and D3 for TX. And I choose 9.6K for the bulk rate. This is the reset button for the microcontroller. And this is the reset button for PS2 shield. This one, just plug them together. Now, stack the shield and the CT Uno together. Make sure all the pin is insert to the hole. Press them a bit to make sure it is tight. I will just put the PS2 shield and the CT Uno up here. Now, I will jump all the jumper wires from MDDS10 to the shield digital one to digital pin 7, digital 2 to digital pin 4, analog 1 to digital pin 6, analog 2 to digital pin 5, 5 volt to 5 volt, and ground to ground. Next, I upload the source code to the CT Uno. Lastly, I have to connect the battery to the power source cable. Okay, now I will turn on the PS2 controller and try my robot. If this happen when you controlling your robot, you can either change the coding for the motor or just exchange the connection of the motor connection at the motor port. I hope that you understand my tutorial. Please try to do it. 
you will learn a lot when you try by yourself. Thank you.